Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our humble abode. Join us as we venture into the mysterious world of Nancy Drew and embark on our latest case, Treasure in the World Hall. Actually, this game takes place in Wisconsin. So I guess that means we don't need these accents. Or these crowns. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna keep the crowns. Hey guys, I'm Laura. And I'm Darian. And we're the Boozy Broads. Welcome to the second episode of Clues and Cocktails. To honor the occasion, we decided to make ourselves some royal drinks. This is called a royal keer. Her. Keer. <laughs> no, 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 I just Googled it. It's a little bit of cassis topped off with some Prosecco and a few raspberries if you want to make it at home. It certainly makes me feel very regal. Indeed. <laughs> Disclaimer yet again, this isn't a walkthrough. We got our cocktails, we're ready to dive in and find some clues. It's gonna be real mysterious, but can't promise it's gonna be very productive. I'm so excited! Yeah, how before we said message in a haunted mansion is one of her favorites, like we would this, both put this one above message in a haunted mansion. It's so this good. Is, this is big. All right. Hi there, it's me, Nancy Drew. You're just in time for my latest mystery, Treasure in the Royal Tower. Choose your difficulty level to start off. If you're new to adventure games, Senior. you might want to click the tutorial button first for a few tips on how to play the game. Nevex. Dear George, so much for my Wisconsin oh, ski vacation. I arrived here at Wickford Castle last night, just before a blizzard swept in. The mountain is completely shut down, and the surrounding roads are closed. I think I'm one of the few guests who made it to the castle at all. The place is huge and old, and slightly creepy under the circumstances. You should hear this wind. What's more, the owner, Christy Lane, my father's friend, is away on business. I tried to ask the caretaker, Dexter Egan, how I could contact her. He's creepy. He said he didn't know. He's so good. Doesn't that seem odd? I couldn't help feeling like there was something he wasn't telling me. I know. All this makes me a little nervous, <laughs> but I'm determined to enjoy myself. After all, this is a vacation, right? I have big plans to explore the castle. Sure. That Ezra Wickford, the original oh, owner, just a must vacation. have been quite a character to have built such an extraordinary place. It's filled with strange, dead-end corridors, for one thing. And I noticed one of the towers is totally different from the other ones. Of course, I'll have to save some time to meet Jacques Brunet, the French ski instructor. <laughs> Tell Beth <laughs> she'll be the first to know if he's half as gorgeous in person as he looks on his website. So, George, I guess things never quite go according to plan. But at least this time, the culprit is just a snowstorm. Talk to you soon. Does Love, all. Nancy. Now all we need oh. is a mailbox. Oh, yeah, this hissing radiator that takes forever to get fixed. I hate so loud. Oh, I love this game so much. It's just so... Okay, our room is 205, so we're going to have to remember that so that we know where to go and where elsewhere. That was one mistake I made as a kid, was I'd like take that card and just leave her room and go places and then be like, what room was that? Like, click True. on every freaking door and be like, what? True. How do I get home? Oh, okay, we're gonna need this. So our locker is 310 and our combination is 517. This is so loud, this right here. This is distracting. It sure is. Oh okay. my goodness. We got a letter opener. I was gonna say, like, is that just a random knife? No. <laughs> letter opener makes a whole lot more sense. It sure does. Okay. Ooh, fancy man. Alright. Oh, can we look in? Her suitcase. And mom jeans. <laughs> mom jeans. Oh, yeah, there they are. There they are. Love them. Uh, Alright, we have a brochure. Let's read about the place that we're in. Can we read this? Yeah, we can read the middle. Ah, welcome to Wickford Castle. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Welcome to Wickford Castle. In 1920, Ezra Wickford, the inventor of chocolate milk, dreamed of building a <laughs> castle like no other. Don't stop at chocolate milk. You gotta dream it. Project Aldo. 
job harder took seven years, 132 <laughs> carpenters, and millions of dollars. But by the time it was done, Wickford Castle had become an architectural marvel. Then in 1945, Wickford mysteriously locked himself away in the castle and allowed the place to fall into a state of decline. After Wickford's death, the castle was closed down for many years, its fate unknown, until it was finally inherited and reopened by his great niece, Christy Lane, in 1990. Now it is one of the most popular vacation resorts in the Midwest. What to do while you're here? Lose yourself in the castle. The castle is a maze of corridors, and some of them lead nowhere! Exclamation! Yahoo! No one knows why Ezra included these dead ends in his castle design, but everyone agrees he must have had quite an imagination. Learn the story of the 18th century British Tower. During his travels in France, Whitford became so enchanted with the Chateau Rochemont that he thought the castle's grand tower, bought the castle's grand tower, and had built onto this castle in 1924. Few people have ever seen the inside of the tower because Mr. Whitford kept it so sealed off. I cannot speak today! The tower is still closed, but in the coming months, Christy Lane plans to open it up to guests and offer guided tours. Mrs. Cool. Lane also plans to restore the vintage 1920s elevator to its original condition. Cool. Very fun! Uh, oh, we can also... Oh, Miss Lane is grateful for the Wisconsin Historical Foundation Yoda. Visit the library. Also while in France, Woodford acquired the majestic library and many of its contents from the estate of Jean Leboeuf. The room is filled with antique books, both French and English. It's worth a visit just to see Marcel Bonnet's famous portrait of Marie Antoinette, which was imported uh, yes. from the Chateau Rochemont. We learned a lot about Marie Antoinette in this game. She's fascinating, she so is. I don't mind too much. Some of the history is like, okay, well, true, but she's good. Outdoor attractions were located just at the foot of scenic Butter Ridge. In the winter months, guests enjoy skiing on some of the best groomed slopes in the Midwest. In the warmer months, guests love to hike into Butter Butter Lovers Lake. Butter mm -hmm. Lovers Lake. I love to go there. <laughs> Say that ten times fast. Mm -hmm. The mountain fields are covered with the region's magnificent wildflowers. Look for lady slippers, skunks, cabbage, black-eyed seasons, butterfly weed, devil's paintbrush, toad flax, and more. Cool. Okay. No matter how you spend your time at Woodford Castle, you're bound to have an adventure! Alright. <laughs> so, Sick. Great. I would like to go back to Alright. I'm pumped now. Let's I go! Mean, I read the brochure. I'm ready. Got uh, some mom um, jeans, read the brochure. Yeah. Gonna have a good time. <laughs> lady. Uh, okay, we can't open that drawer. We. Oh, okay. Nancy has some. Oh, we can. Alright, well, <laughs> spoke too soon. The menu! Ooh, ooh, okay, so a fancy castle serves baby back ribs with creature of the night barbecue sauce, okay. fried bologna sandwich supreme, on white bread, on white bread, crushed potato chip sprinkles, 50 cents extra, anchovy heaven, Caesar salad with eternity of garlic croutons, eternity of garlic like. You're speaking my language. An eternity of garlic I need an eternity of garlic Only five fifty for an eternity of garlic croutons. <laughs> Hot diggity, all you can eat fried chicken drumsticks. Something smoking chili cheese dog. Better than nothing, broccoli surprise. Oh no. Desserts. <laughs> <laughs> Desserts are white cheddar ice cream log. White cheddar, cheddar ice cream, cream log. log. Chocolate mayhem. Okay. Odyssey to, to banana, banana land. <laughs> Put a banana in your ear. I'd rather keep my ear clear. Key to enlightenment, lime pie, and sugar crusted rhubarb jerky royale. What on earth, man? I... Okay. Oh, we get to keep it just in case Sweet. I want to review that again because I'm definitely going to be eating <laughs> Clearly, we have to. <laughs> That's so good. Uh... I definitely wouldn't have picked up on that before. I've been like, ooh, ooh. Well, hot dog. There's our phone. We don't probably really need to call anybody immediately. Not right so now. We can go back to that. The radiator. Very beautiful windows. I Sounds like the radiator this is, is broken. Annoying. Yeah, thank girl. I can't hear myself talk. It's so loud. <laughs> it's true. Oh my goodness. Oh, another fancy portrait on the wall. Uh, I always thought when I was little, this looks like a coin. Yeah. So I was always like, I can't click it. It does look like a coin. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Oh, sassy detective. It's like they knew Nancy was coming. <laughs> okay, there is something I think we need to take away from These this. These is fingerprints. fingerprints. So when you touch things, oil on our skin, left on surfaces, yada yada. Uh, brush light powder over the surface. The brush or, sorry, the powder or dust will cling to the oil left by fingertips. 
Remember, fingertips will appear in darker or lighter shades depending on how much oil is present. So the ones with the most oil present will be the ones you touched first. first. So the dark, it goes darkest to right. lightest. So that is what we will have to remember. Sounds or good. Later. Yay, thank you. I cannot close this now. Hello, ah! Excuse me. I did it. Oh. <laughs> you have to so close it first. <laughs> proper way to do things. Oh, okay, we have two doors, but I think we can only leave one. Is this a map that we can actually look down? Oh, no, that would be actually useful because... Woo! Still <laughs> trackpad. Clearly no mouse yet. Get okay, this, the other door. door. Okay. Alright. Still now? Okay. Well, there we go. Leave in the place. We got this. Let's venture. Oh, okay. it's so quiet without that thing. It's so nice. Let's start by going to talk to Dexter. Sounds good. Oh, I forgot how it's great so this is. It's so beautiful. It still is. I mean, still holds up. Just as pretty as I thought. Yeah. You know, sometimes when you're little and you see a big house and you're like, this is so fancy. Yeah. <laughs> like, this actually is. It, it is. Yeah. Fancy. Cool. We've got some knights blocking the doors. Here's Hello, me. Miss Drew. Did you get squared Miss away upstairs? Drew. Uh, yeah, my freaking radiator is Dexter. Too, super loud. Um, <laughs> yes, yes. I can talk Thanks, about that Mr. Right Egan. Off the my room oh, is charming, but I think there's something wrong with my radiator. It hisses, and there's a clanging noise too. Would you mind checking it out for me? Sorry about that inconvenience, but you're just gonna have to sit oh, tight for a while. Oh, I'm the oh, only oh, one oh, on oh, duty oh, while the owner's oh, away, oh, and around here it seems like even if it ain't broke, it still needs fixing. Last time I checked, there were only 24 hours in a day. And now to make matters okay, worse, Mr. Sassy there have been pants. a couple of <laughs> incidents. Oh, okay. So we just we just dealt with a, a hotel that had incidents in it, so. Truly. Uh, sorry, we are a bed and breakfast. Sure, sure, okay. A place where people sleep in beds that aren't their own. We'll say that. Yeah. Um, Oh, that's all we can say. I well, hope it's no, nothing serious. Oh, you're right. The but owner, Christy Lane, well, like is a, a friend nice of my father's, and I know how much she loves time, yeah. this castle. Everything's under control. Is there something else, Miss Drew? Jeez, he's so rude. I just need a stamp to send sorry. this letter, he's and then I'll be off to explore Dang. the castle. Well, I can take your letter, but the mail's not going anywhere for a while. It's snowing like there's no tomorrow out there. So explore all you want. Take the grand tour. But forget about the library. It's off limits. Why off limits? Sounds like you. <laughs> Sounds like Let's you mean it. business, Mr. Mine. Egan. <laughs> what happened? Too many overdue books? Someone <laughs> vandalized our historic library. Really turned the place upside down. The owner, uh, Miss Lane, she's going to be pretty upset. Why would anyone want to vandalize the library? I have no idea. I straightened up in there before check-in yesterday and everything was fine. Now it looks like a bomb went off. Books everywhere and somebody hacked a big hole in one of the walls. Oh. I locked the place up and called the police, but who knows when they'll be able to get here. Is the storm that bad? Jeez. Wow, a hole in the wall? What do you think they were looking for? I can't tell, but somebody's definitely after something. How do you know? Because someone had What else them. has gone wrong? Well, this Professor Hotchkiss just called me in a terrible flap, saying our room's been robbed. The brilliant Professor I went up Professor there, but she Hotchkiss. wouldn't open the door to talk about it. Wouldn't even tell me what was missing. So what she want me to do about it? <laughs> so what she want me to do about it? Sounds like you're smart, What's What strange, strange behavior? behavior? I'm curious. I wonder if she might open the door to talk to me. Well, Hotchkiss has a pair of ski boots in the basement. The Frenchman's been working on them for her, but he won't deliver them. Says he's a ski instructor, not a bellhop. I hate to ask this, but if you could grab those boots and bring them up to her, it might smooth her feathers. Sure would smooth mine. Uh, so can, can you, you do, do something about my radiator? Sorry, not yet. So, so how long have you been working here? <laughs> a while. 
Uh, okay. okay. See you, Mr. Egan. Yeah, You're a trooper. Works. Yeah. Respect that. You're a All trooper. Right. Respect that. Uh, the mouse keeps getting like stuck on the side. Stop it, please. Please. Okay. Maybe we have you over there, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we've got. Can you handle the view? Uh, Pepper Cliff Farms. Mmm. Cheese. Ski, Wisconsin. Seems like an exciting place. Uh, Pierre Chateau is the oldest chateau in Lake Bo Oh, we've got some home water shots. Wickford Castle. Butter Ridge Ski Resort. Linda Lakes. Wisconsin. Okay. Let's ah, okay, so this is gonna. This is sticking way worse than it did in the last game. Oh, that's, that's too bad. bad. Alright. Oh, I forgot Hi, her. I'm Lisa. Did you hear what happened? Someone broke into the library and vandalized it. Dexter locked it up. He's saying the culprit must be one of us in the castle. Doesn't even Can you know her. It? She's telling her everything. Yeah. Like, girl. Hi. Why would it be one of us? Apparently, the only guests who made it here before the blizzard set in are you, me, and Professor Hotchkiss. Uh, and then there's the on-staff suspects, Dexter, our friendly desk clerk, and Jacques Brunet, ski instructor extraordinaire. What do you know about Professor Hodgkiss? Oh my gosh, wait till you hear this. Hodgkiss is this nutty old woman who's always typing and talking to herself in her room. I was walking past her door earlier, and I heard her screaming that her room had been robbed. Wow. Did she say what was stolen? Not that I could hear. She just kept wailing, my theory, my theory. I think she teaches history, or maybe a foreign language. I thought I heard a couple of French words pop out of her mouth. But don't quote me on that either. I only barely passed Spanish in high school. Habla Espanol? Hardly. I'm just a humble <laughs> photojournalist covering weird old mansions in the Midwest. And this place is one of the weirdest. Did you know Ezra Wickford, the original owner, shut himself away in here for like ah, 50 years? I read the brochure, girl. Okay? Yeah. I've done my research. <laughs> you must know a great deal about this place. Not really, but I sure want to get into that tower that came from France. It'd be great for my story. Too bad Wickford sealed it off. Maybe it's his ghost making those creepy noises at night. I wonder why he didn't want anyone to go into the tower. Creepy, right? I mean, did we stumble onto the set of As the Castle Turns or what? <laughs> well, you probably want to get settled. I wonder what we're going to do with ourselves while we're all cooped up in this place. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Stay She's, warm. Is she reading a magazine of herself? That looked probably. exactly like her, or it looked like Maddie from Staging the Danger, and I couldn't tell if it was I do not want to talk to you again. Case. What can we read? Major figures and events of the revolution. Okay, we learn a little bit about Maria Antoinette. Yada yada. She's obliged to wed Louis. I don't know Roman numerals. The blog. <laughs> no, Something no. of France to symbolize an alliance between France and her parents' dynasty. She became queen of France when her husband was crowned King Louis. Uh, her lavish lifestyle made her unpopular. While the commoners stood in bread lines paying for, praying for food, they cursed the queen who was living so comfortably in her grand palace. People's discontent grew and grew until a full-scale revolution broke out in 1789. Um, looked like she would survive. She sought assistance from other European rulers. Uh, escaped to Paris the night of June 20, but revolutionary forces apprehended the royal couple and escorted them back to Paris as prisoners. Uh, the monarchy was finally overthrown. Marie Antoinette spent the rest of her life in Parisian prisons. Uh, her husband was executed on orders from the National Convention, and the Queen was put in solitary confinement in the Conciergerie. She was brought before the Revolutionary Tribunal and guillotined, 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 two days later. Beheaded. Yes, I do know that, but that's beheaded. <laughs> um, executed without proof of the crimes for which she was accused. So sad. Um, yeah. It's uncertain who actually invented it, but we know it was named after Dr. Joseph that, who recommended most humane and efficient form of capital punishment. Interesting. 
Okay, so yeah, she has a kind of a sad story. Yeah, she does. So that. We've got. Okay, we already did that. Where's book two? Hello, I feel like I can click a lot of books and have it be book one. Oh, there. Second, we learn about the storming of the Bastille. Um, storm the old royal, it was a royal prison. Governor was killed, seven inmates, and then the political prisoners were freed. The walls were torn down. Uh, the king was, whoa, this is a revolt. Apparently it was a revolution. First outbreak of violence marked the true beginning of the revolution. Jean Le Boeuf, oh we learned that we heard a little bit about him so far. He became one of the commanders of the French Revolutionary Army at the age of 22. He's best known for foiling Louis and Marie Antoinette's attempt to escape Paris. Um, after hearing rumors of their planned escape, he organized troops to intercept the fleeing royal couple. They were captured, scored back to Paris as prisoners. Marquis was overthrown less than 14 months later. He became a general under Napoleon Bonaparte and a member of the new French aristocracy. He amassed great wealth, built a beautiful chateau. Became known for its splendid library. He died in the war of 1812. <laughs> um, Great General was not killed by enemy soldiers, but by food poisoning that resulted from eating a can of rancid beef. Which is funny because his name is Jean LeBeuf. <laughs> uh, that's so <laughs> funny. <laughs> like, not funny that he died from eating no. rancid beef, but like. His I'm last sorry. name was his fate. I just like, like yeah. Can we see a third? Is, do we just see two? I think it's just two bucks. Yeah. All right. We cool, learned cool, some cool. histoire. Some histoire. Histoire. That's where hot chairs will be. Yes. In the future. All right. So let's go over here. We see a nice tapestry hanging on the wall. I can't look I don't remember which way we're actually supposed to go. No, me neither. I'm just wandering. Oh, this uh, used to always creep me out. Oh, this is the tower. Oh, we can't go up. It's too know. dark. I should take the elevator. Sure, girl. Um, is it the way to the library? Let's... I'm not sure. I know the library's upstairs, I think. These are the downstairs halls. Right. Just always, I just would not go down here. I was like, this is scary. Yeah, I know. Damn. So this is how one way that we get to the basement. We can also get to the basement by being normal. Okay, we shouldn't play with these yet. In the future, we might actually need to yes. turn the power back on. But until then, let's not touch it. Uh, ski rental. So let's go talk to Jacques Brunet. So we can, yeah, we can definitely take the elevator. We don't have to do this long way. But I'm just, just wondering. We have some, okay, different ski packages. Oh, here, oh, here he is. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Je m'appelle oh, Jacques bonjour. Brunet. So, what brings you to beautiful Wisconsin? Mm -hmm. Okay, so What's your ski? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Nancy. I came to ski, but it looks like I'm going to have to find other ways to entertain myself. I told Mr. Egan I would bring Professor Hotchkiss her boots. Are they ready? Uh, yes, I fixed her boots. Uh, but you should be relaxing by the fire, sipping cocoa, Nancy. Not running well, errands for Dexter. It. Why is it you American girls never know how to separate business from pleasure? Dang. Oh, I like this What about it. you, oh, Jean? Do no, okay. you give I skiing right lessons in. in Wisconsin for business or pleasure? Well, uh, with the weather so terrible, I suppose I get neither. But you see, I am here for Isabelle, mon petit chou. She's an American studying at the university in Madison, and I've asked her to marry me. That is excuse enough to be in Wisconsin, n'est-ce pas? And besides, I am not the first French work of art to end up here. French work of art? Calling yourself a work of art, man? You need to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect! No, you said that. Work of art? What are you talking about? I am speaking of the Queen's Tower, of course. It comes from the Chateau Rochemont in a town oh, in France awesome. near where I grew up. Didn't you notice it when you drove in? No. Uh... Okay. 
Yes, I did notice. Can you tell uh, me what about an it? amazing feat it must have been I'm to take that thing apart and put it back that together. Action. The oh, French are talented people, Nancy. We are good at many things, not just making wine and romance, you know. But tell me, uh, how will you spend your time here, Nancy? I'm dying to have a look inside that library. I heard it was vandalized. Do you know anything? Nancy, a pretty girl should not worry herself with this type of thing while she is on vacation. Okay, uh, I should times. warn you, Dexter is very time. protective of this place. He does not take kindly to people snooping around where they should not. I'm a detective, so I'm yeah. gonna snoop. Yeah. Yeah, I like the first one. Thanks for the tip, but I think Dexter and I are going to get along just fine. Get along yeah. just fine, you say? <laughs> ah, a woman who knows her own powers oh, oh, oh. of persuasion. Elle est dangereuse, no? Ciao! I have a mind of my own, so I'm dangerous. Like, sir, I I just, like, it was like, you need to stop being like that. You go see your locker? Yeah, it's free 10. Chihuahua R. Zero. Yeah. And it is five one seven. The combination is five one seven, but it's not working. Uh, yo, Jacques! Man. Yo, Nancy! Come on, Sava! Oh, there's tons that we can do. Oh, we can ask more about that now. Okay, good. Uh, let's go Tell me about these boxes you're making. When I am not skiing, I need some other way to express myself. So voila! voila. I make these hot boxes for keeping secrets safe. I'm sure you have many secrets, Nancy. Cheers! The shade. Do you know much about the tower that's closed off? I heard the original owner imported it from France. It comes from the said. Chateau Rochemont in a town in France near where I grew up. <laughs> and Marie Antoinette used to visit this tower when she was Queen of France. Uh, okay. Until she lost her head in the revolution, that is. Dexter told me the combination to my locker, number 310, is 517. I tried it, but the locker won't open. Hmm, Dexter must be confused. Because I think that is the combination for number 311. Uh, try 311. I'll talk I'll to you later. Allez, bye-bye. Allez, bye-bye. Yeah, Allez, bye-bye. Yeah, Allez, bye-bye. Sweater. So she has three different identifications, none of the names that she gave us. No. And, oh, two passports. Oh, and some passports. We've got... Helen Karp. Helen Karp again, with different hair. Yeah, yeah, he's on the Oh, it is. Sorry. And Tanya Lee Gooding. Tanya Lee Gooding. Look at those glasses. Styling. Girl, who are you? Because she tells us she's Lisa, correct? Yeah. What did she sign this letter off as? I'm curious. Oh, Lisa. Oh, Lisa. Someone sent yeah. her this. So, Lisa's a big fat liar. Yeah. 
Oh my god, stop f***ing lying. Okay, can we not see anything else? Yeah. Is that it? That is it. Interesting. Okay. Okay, girl. Okay. I believe that would be... Oh. <laughs> it's a finicky. Okay, this one you have to actually click on like the door handles of things. To, like, yeah. We go up these like doors. Oh. oh, everyone has their own. Oh, we can click on shocks. Ooh, we don't have his code yet, but we can go there later. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Bye. Very, very interesting. Indeed. Alright. Let's try this elevator. Oh, I hate the elevator. So yeah. Oh, this one is so well, it's, it's locked. on our floor. Oh! We it's not lit. Come to me. So quiet. Follow the typing. Follow the typing. Oh, this sounds it sounds close. Okay, yeah, we're good. Hey. Yes, hello. Is that Jacques with my boots? No, sorry, girl. Okay, let's let's not yeah. pull Lisa and be like, blah, 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 blah. yeah. Actually, it's Nancy Drew, but I do have your boots for you. Oh, good. Oh, uh, boots, yeah. fine. Uh, thank you, thank you. Everything is fine. We didn't ask. Uh, just leave the boots at the door, please. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, and it seems I'm out of change. I'll just have to tip you the next time, Mandy. Girl, um, she creepy. Oh, let's do the second one, maybe. No tip is necessary, Professor Hotchkiss. I don't actually work here. My name's Nancy Drew. I heard your room was robbed, and I'd like to find out what was taken so that Mr. Egan can report it. Everything's under control, dear. Nothing to report. Thank you for my boots. My poor feet have been feeling so exposed. Wear those indoors all the time? We knock again. Um, yeah. Oh, she doesn't let us. No, she just don't want to talk. Hey, Marie. Hey, girl. Oh, she just grabbed her boots. <laughs> Alright, what else is up what's, here? what's back there? No. I'll go back to it. I think it's one of the staircases that lead downstairs. Oh. So I'll just look upstairs a little bit and then go back in the I can't remember where, where we get to the library, but I know it's on this floor. Yeah. At least I thought it was. These hallways are so confusing. Like, that's the elevator, correct? Okay. Wow. So I don't remember all of this. So this oh, I remember this part. This is to a, this is to a staircase. So let's... I think it's to, like, one of the, that separate room where we find, like, a medallion. Yeah, stuff. there's that separate room, but I don't know if it's... Okay, let's look everywhere then. Let's. Because I thought to get the other room, I don't think we have to go like through a tunnel. Dead end. Okay, here's the dead end, so we never have to go here. Understood. Um... The music just stopped. <laughs> so creepy. Let's, let's go over here. Let's see it. Oh, this is the room. Yes. Oh, I love this room. So this is actually just past Marie Antoinette's. Or sorry. <laughs> Marie Antoinette. It's past Professor Hodge. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Oh, oh, we can move forward. Ooh. So pretty. Hey. Hey, girl. 
Can we do anything with those? I think we can't do anything in this room just yet. Can, but yeah, just okay, there's, there's a way to stairs. Okay. So we're in this pretty room. Can't really do anything in it. I still don't know where this library is. Um, it's like middle hallway, I think. Our room is somewhere. Or it might be in the other hall, actually. Yeah, our room's in. Our room is down here. Yes. Well, this connects there it the is. Middle. That's the elevator, is it not? That's the elevator. You sure? Yeah. Because we got out of the elevator and we went right to Professor Hodges. Yeah, because this way is Professor Hodges' oh. room. Elevator's in the middle of both of those things. I'm confused. I know. Okay, let's... The only place we didn't really go in... I... Oh my lord, this mess. Yet another dead end. Well, weird. I just cannot find Schwaber. That's what they want. I can't find it yet. You know, let's go to the first floor. Maybe we're wrong about it being on the second floor. Maybe. What? The trackpad clings in this game. Oh, weird. Like it. Do we need to know any of this? I think we need to know that number for some reason. Yeah, I think like later on, I think Hotchkiss asks us like to give her information about the hotel. The concert. We get it. Okay. Now that I think about it, it totally is the first floor and it's right across it's from the other. It's actually? Oh no. Oh, we're stuck. Already? Uh, nothing works. So uh, yeah. I didn't know that we had to do this so fast. Oh, I hated this before. Oh, I hated this before. Oh, this always scared me so much. Yeah. Do we just jump across? I'm yeah. not sure if I can make it. Let's not make her, cause she would and then die. Yeah. Ooh, but this is what we need to see, because we can somehow get in there in the future, maybe if we're up a floor. Right. So, but what do we... Oh, there okay. we go. That's back into the elevator. Okay. Um, can I get on this? Yeah. Yes. Dang. Holy cow. Oh, you... Crash, bang, bang, bang. That don't sound good. Oh, what? Okay, let's. Why don't we do our first initial phone calls to get those over with? Sure. And go talk to Dexter and be like, um, sir, I almost died in your pleasant hotel. <laughs> Which two oh, I forget our two of fours right there. So yeah, it's the one behind it, but I couldn't get to it from that. Yeah. Best George, I had a traumatic event. <laughs> Do we call Best and George in this one? Pretty positive. Or we're mailing our thing to George, so I assume we do. Maybe we don't. Then if we're mailing her. Nope. Oh, George, we do. Okay, okay. Ned, oh, George. Ned, George. We call Ned. Okay, let's try Ned first. Five, two, oh, Neddy. Riverdale code. Four, eight. Or three five seven. Or three five seven. So that three looks like an eight. To be right now. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I mean.
Hi, you've reached Ned at Omega Chi Epsilon. I'm not here to take your call right now, so please try again later. House Thanks. Is that what you name your home? Isn't Ned a frat boy? Oh no. No. We thought you were better than that, Ned. Not dissing frat people. I mean, I'm sure there's some good eggs, but movies don't make him look great. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hello? George, it's Nancy. Great timing, Nancy. Bess and I were just saying how we wish we were out on the ski slopes with you. Hang on, I'll get her to pick up the other phone. Hey, Bess, our favorite detective's on the phone. Hey, Nancy, how's the vacation? I guess you haven't gotten my letter. Not only do I have a blizzard on my hands, but I may have stumbled onto another case, too. The castle library was vandalized. And one of the other guests says her room was robbed. Boy, oh boy! Have you searched the library for clues yet? Well, that's the thing. Dexter Egan, the caretaker, says it's locked up and off limits until the police can get here. But who knows when that'll be. That's funny, Nancy. I didn't know the phrase off limits was even in your vocabulary. Seriously, though. Don't you think that your dad's friend, Christy Lane, would feel better knowing that you're on the case, at least until the police can take over? She's right, Nancy. I mean, who knows what this Egan guy is all about anyway? Sounds like you're just gonna have to find an alternative entrance to that library. Here I go again. Just hope I don't have to slide down the chimney. And what <laughs> about this robbery? Who got robbed? Not quite. I'm not sure. The guest's name is Professor Hodgkiss. I think she's a bit eccentric. You mean weird? Netzo? A few sandwiches short of a picnic? Okay, <laughs> you guys. I just mean that I'm not sure how reliable her testimony will be. Yeah, but she'll probably tell you something important, whether she means to or not. Sure. I met my ski instructor, yeah. Jacques Brunet. He sure is French. Ooh la la, those accents should be illegal. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, Bess, but uh, he's engaged. Now there's a real crime. Right, Bess. <laughs> Humanity is devastated. Oh, you too. I met this nice woman, Lisa Ostrom. What's her deal? She's a photojournalist doing a story on the castle. She sure got me curious about that tower. Oh yeah? Does she know where the entrance is? I don't think so. Well, keep an eye on her, Nancy. Those photojournalists are born snoopers, you know. George, are you suggesting that Nancy is a second-class snooper? You're going to give our friend a complex. Oh, right. Like Nancy doesn't know she's the prime minister of snooping. Hey. I'm trying to meet with Professor Hotchkiss to find out what was stolen from her room, but she won't open her door to discuss it. That's odd. I wonder what she's so nervous about. I'll bet she's hiding something in her room. Like what, Bess? The elephant that trampled the library? She's probably just a little freaked. I mean, if her room really was robbed, you'll find a way to make her trust you, Nancy. I'll bet Bess's last slice of pizza on it. Hey. Okay, you two. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Take a turn. Yeah. 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 So loud. So loud. Bye. Bye. Great. Let's go talk to good old Dex. Yeah. Mr. Egan, if you will. Mr. Eats. Holy cow. Yeah. That's what I'm <laughs> it's. Topsy-turvy. Oh! Shall we snoop? Shall. This always freaked me out as a we kid. We shall. Okay. If we can get behind the desk. There we go. Uh, pen pals. Products, the steno book. To do list. Okay, we need to fix prof boots, refund guests who cancel, snow plows. Try to teach Christy, sorry, try to reach Christy again, change library alarm code, change bulbs and tower, replace filter and vent shaft. Keep searching! For what? Get boots back to prof, check basement, circuit breaker. Uh, and get dinner orders from guests. Cool. Oh. oh, a key. 
Sick. I don't know what we need that for yet, but we have one. No. We have one. Is that it? I think there has to be more. Look everywhere just in case. We only needed the key. I guess. Yeah. Can you click on those like letters over there when you're zoomed in? Nope. No. Hmm. Okay. Oh. That's it. Great. Great. Can we talk to Lisa about all of her identities? I don't know if we're allowed to really bring that up because we can. We'll be like, oh, accidentally. Is it like nighttime? Oh, what the heck? Yeah, everyone's gone. And the fire's off the fireplace. Maybe it is. Time to snoop. I think we can get something near Jacques. Okay. When he's not there. Let's just go and see. That's where the library is. Do we dare? Oh, it's the library key. But we don't, we need more to do that. Okay. True. Well, we can do it now, just put the alarm to go off when we call. Yeah. Which we can do. <laughs> oh, we're back here. It's a booze! Oh, yeah, she can't go up here. You can go down that staircase you just that. Can we? Yep. That's how you get to the basement. Oh. The ah. Whoa. Shortcuts. And then left. Uh, did we go down that way yet? Yeah, yeah that's where Jacques is. No, did we go? The other way? Do we just uh, go straight yet? I don't think so, but I don't really think it goes anywhere. Maybe it does. Hello there, dead end. My name's Nancy Drew. Some things from childhood stick, apparently. Yes. Yeah. So that's, you know. Glad to know that. I don't remember the layout of this, so. Effective. Tough. Ah, there we go. I don't really know the layout. Like, clearly, I was walking in the wrong direction for the library forever. I think it was upstairs, but, like, <laughs> there's certain things that stick in my head as, like, that's not a thing. Like right. It is. Or don't go there. Do go there. Where did we get? Paintbrush. I don't know what that's for yet, but we'll find out. Watch out, land the other side. So then, I don't really think there's anything else. Do it now. Is it just go to bed? No, run, run to eat. Come outside and run to eat. Ugh, it's like the North Pole out there. Okay, it's, we, we're from Canada. Okay, just put on a put on a toque and get your puffer jacket. You're fine. All right, just fine. Let's go to bed. Will it work? Oh oh oh! oh. The call it. Yeah, it's been fixed. No. Uh, so we're gonna have to talk to Dexter about the elevator. Yeah. Being a dude. Alright, let's go to bed. Ah, I did not need to do that.
Like, we just decided that Nancy's like a prompt 8 o'clock wake up person. Yeah. Like, the last day of this game, we're like, yeah, it seems like a great time. Do what? I get that time if I'm not working? No. Yeah. But Nancy, we know that she's ambitious. We know she that she's is. productive. She is. Yeah, exactly. So, sure. 8 a.m. is the time of the productive people. <laughs> I read once though that like productive, like successful people wake up at 6 a.m. in the morning. I'm like, I guess I'm not one of them. Can I help you? We can all be productive in our own ways. How about that? I was in the elevator and it got stuck between floors. I had to climb out the top and I just barely made it up to the floor above. Do you think you'll be able to fix it? Well, I doubt it's broken. I'll check the power switch in the basement. Glad you're okay. But don't go climbing around the elevator shaft anymore. Okay, yeah, it's but I dangerous no in there. I'm not doing it because it's fun. I mean, in the future <laughs> I'll do it because it's fun, but like that time I didn't. About my radiator, Mr. Egan. Do you think you'll be able to fix it anytime soon? Sorry, not yet. Hotchkiss called to report that she got her boots. But now I'm told that the light is out in the back yes. stairwell. Could you check the circuit breaker in the basement and make sure it's working? Some vacation uh, this is turning into. Oh, she just <laughs> leaves. All right. Let's All right. do it. All right. And we can see if Lisa's there too. Yes. Let's talk to her on the way. Mm. She is not an early riser. Sorry, she ain't productive as us, so. We got things to do, we got people to see, we got places to go. Yeah. We got circuit breakers to fix. This ain't no picnic. <laughs> This ain't a walk in the park! <laughs> Who needs a vacation? Do I hit this? Oh, elevator reset, yeah. That'll be for the- yeah. So that should be the elevator. And then the lights, I never quite positive how to do them properly. There's- okay, it says like, something, two, three. But this, I'm not ever sure what that means. Hey! Oh, maybe it says don't. What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? They have that rotating hole, so I don't know where they are. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> if you want to plan to bring them to you. Oh, sounds awesome. This one always, I was never quite sure what we were supposed to do. And it is just that. Well, and we'll know because when we go into the staircase yeah, uh, right. that we were going in before, the lights were off. Okay. True. Right That's the annoying thing with this puzzle is you have to walk so far away to be like, did it work? No. Go back. No. Did it work? No. Like, it's a lot but of- But like, how do we know what the puzzle, like the- I don't know. It's not very intuitive unless we're just not catching on. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to pester lights. you, Mr. Egan, but <clears throat> the radiator. Thanks for dealing with the circuit breaker. Okay, we're really making progress here, kid. So, you go up to Hotchkiss's room and see what she wants for dinner. She's not answering her phone. No problem, Bash. No problem, boss. Woohoo! Oh, she's not here still. Wow, girl. Let's take the stairs. Because we can't. Right. Oh, so we have a dead end with the outline of a door, which is creepy and interesting and cool and fun. Was there a door before? Is there a door on the other side? If there was a door before, wouldn't the whole wall be 
plastered over, not the line. Weird. Questions we might never know the answer to. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, we're trying to go upstairs because we can take the elevator. <laughs> No, we fixed the elevator. Oh, we're trying to be snoopy, but we're just we're gonna go upstairs just to be annoying. Yeah, let's just take the elevator. We can't take the elevator. We fixed it. We did the elevator reset. Where are we going? We were gonna go to Dexter. To... No, because we fixed oh, we're, the light. We had to go to Hotchkiss because we had to ask her what yes. she wants for dinner. You're right. At 9 a.m. Yeah. Girl, I don't know if you've thought about what you're craving for dinner yet, but like. We need to know. In 10 hours, what do you do? What time is it? It is like 9.40. Excellent. This is always easy to find her. I know. Ugh! Virginia Woolf never endured such interruptions! Who is it? <laughs> Hi, Professor. I thought you might be getting hungry in there. Could I relay a dinner order for you? No, oh, hard to think of food candy when I'm riding the raging rapids of my theory. Oh, right now, I have plenty of pre-packaged energy globules energy to keep globules. me going. But tell Baxter that I am developing a powerful couscous. craving for couscous. Yes, couscous for dinner would be splendid. I'll have a nice tip for you next time, Fanny. Couscous. What a weird thing to crave. That's like being like, I'm really craving some quinoa for dinner. <laughs> I don't sure. know. I don't care who you are. You like don't you crave can, quinoa. You can crave a grain, but like there's, you're not just having a plain, like, no. Just a nice bowl of couscous. I remember as a kid, I was like, some what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't think I learned what couscous was until, like, university. I was like, oh. It's like a, it's, it's like a mix between a grain and a pasta, basically. Yeah, it's very similar to quinoa, I feel like. It's that small little ball grain. Except quinoa is, like, super good for you. Couscous is basically pasta. Couscous is mostly, it's just very, very baby <laughs> pastas that resemble quinoa. It's still really good. Yes? The professor says she has a hankering for, um, couscous. Couscous? Never heard of it. Tell her to order something off the menu. Yes! That's why we have to collect it. Nox, we want to look okay. at all the great things. See ya, Mr. Egan. Menu, Goodbye. Just go this way. That makes me. That menu? I feel like I, as a kid, never read that. That is so funny. Yeah. That's so. I can't do this right now. Is it not this way? Ah. <laughs> Is that yep. my couscous it's already? Damn couscous for you, girl. I got you. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Professor, but there's no couscous in the house. You'll need to choose something from the hotel menu. Well, I don't have a menu. At least not from this hotel. Oh, oh be a doll and, and fetch me one, will you? Got you. Well, you want to You're go right here. here. Here, save, save it. I got, I, I got oh. a house. I got one for you. You want to go up? I'll give, I'll give it, and did you get the menu? Sure did. How about opening the door oh, so I can give it to you? No, oh, you're a sneaky one. Just slip it under mean, the I'm door, please. Nice and easy. No yeah. funny stuff. Uh, oh, <coughs> baby back ribs, yes. Oh, chili cheese dog. A uh, 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 fried bologna sandwich. Uh, I'm not usually much of a meat area. eater, yeah. but uh, uh, very well. Fifty drumsticks, I'm not please. Usually Chicken, much of a that meat is. Cluck, meat cluck. Eater. But fifty, 50 drumsticks. drumsticks. <laughs> Chicken that is. Cluck cluck. <laughs> sure. Fifty drumsticks. <laughs> Whatever makes you happy. Rock and roll, roll. dear. Oops. 
I'm really happy uh, Treasure of the Royal Tower gave us Professor Hodgkiss. Mm -hmm. We see her again a couple times. That's true. This is the first game that I ever played. I got this Same. coupled with Final Scene, and this one was, both of them were in the pack, but like this one with the castle and everything, the pictures, I was like, I'm playing this one. This first. was also my first game, too. I got Treasure in the Royal Tower and Message in a Haunted Mansion together, but I played this one first because, again, the castle. Yeah, it just yeah. seemed more appealing. Like the disc was purple yep. and they had a castle on it. I was like, mm -hmm. yeah. Can I help you? The professor has changed her order. Seems she's developed an appetite for chicken drumsticks. Fifty of them. Okay then, drumsticks we got. Oops, but I guess Jock better take that bag of chicken legs out of the freezer. Will you tell him? <laughs> and then take the rest of the day off, kid. Yay! Your radiator's as good as fixed. Go check it out too. Okay, see ya, Mr. Egan. Alrighty then. And that's it for today. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. We post every Tuesday and Friday. The next part will be out soon. Hope to see you then. Boosie Broads out.